My name is Big Money Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spy. We're going to be playing the silent 99 gold. Or I could have 199, or I could upgrade a card. Well, well, well. If it isn't, choices. Uh, all right, so we can have two early upgrades, as well as two early shops, and then an elite. Three elites, actually, and I can even duck out if I don't want to take them all on. Hell yes. Unfortunate opening hand there. Yeah, that was poorly done. Should have struck the back line of there. Alright, next hand might have the kill, but it is unlikely. Alright, never mind. Left as much damage on the bottom of the deck as it possibly could. Skill, perfect. That's that's the card we're gonna be using to kill elites. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP from the uh, regal pillow there. Let's remove a strike in this space. Probably just gonna remove a strike in the next one as well. I'll take that. Could get me a good relic here, and it does. But do I take it is the thing. That is, uh, sorry, the needle started combo with full plated armor. I actually think I'm gonna remove that instead and take the back, sorry, the backstab. I'm just adding some extra damage into this deck right now. Who's my boss? Okay, so Noxious Fumes isn't particularly good against that boss. Just want excess damage. Okay, I'll take a quick slash. And a strength potion. I intend to kill three elites this floor now. Upgrade the skill first, and then the neutralize. One down. Take none of that. Thank you very much. Let's get that neutralize upgraded. Probably the backstab thereafter as well. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you mana card to your deck. Well, we have a lot of benefits for resting right now. Like a surprising amount. Use the strength potion in this fight because this is probably going to be the worst fight, uh, the worst elite that we could come up against. With the way that our deck is currently structured, that is. Okay. And that's the kill this turn. Beautiful. Here's the Lug Volum, Matroshka. The next two non boss chests you open contain two relics as well as. We'll take a copy of Caltrop, sure. I'm actually gonna rest here. I've got two more elites here after really quickly. Avoid all of those, but we do get a lot of HP. We have to get attacked three times before, uh, four times actually, before that Caltrop is more effective than just an extra trigger of skill, which uh, isn't gonna happen. Great. Good kill. Good kill. Ancient tea set. Whenever you go into a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy, as well as I'll take a flying knee here. We're going for a really aggressive form of this deck. I don't want to lose the money. I'm actually going to lose the swift potion. Ooh, frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Cool. So now we have, like, all of the cards that we've taken so far are just value picks to keep us alive. Now we can actually just start picking up basically every single every single power that we see. Okay, I did draw the neutralize this turn, so... Thanks to that, I'm not going to have to use my own. And this is, say, the weak potion. I'd really like to keep this for the boss. 
Uh, yeah, skill's no longer the killer, right? 36. We're literally one damage short with it. Wild. This still gives me lethal this turn, though. Okay, Mango! 14 max HP on pickup. Really good. I'll even take a doppelganger here and then upgrade that doppelganger. I can use that to set up for a really big uh, skill. best that I can do is draw the... Wow! Lame. Very much needed to draw the skill that turn, by the way. In order to get a decent split. This has been remarkably poor. At the very least, I get the skill to almost instantly kill one of these targets. I should focus the Acid Slime, actually. The fact that it can weaken us is deathly. We're going to have a lot of difficulty next floor unless we pick up a corpse explosion at the end of this boss. Explosion. Nope. Uh, after image or phantasmal killer? Well, after image obviously comes pre upgraded. Frozen egg sees to that. It's typically a lot better, but I mean, we already have a bunch of attack in this deck. Taking PK lets us actually utilize it a lot. Because we don't have a win condition in this deck yet without that. Uh, Fusion Hammer, you can only smith at rest sites. Not really that great for us. We don't have much draw in this deck. We have the Quick Slash and then we have the Doppelganger. But the pr problem is Doppelganger gives us extra energy. And if it doesn't draw skill, I don't have anywhere to put all of my extra... Uh, ...energy without playing a bunch of cards and violating the effect of the Velvet Choker here. So I'll take the Cursed Key. Alright, if I can get a Chemical X, we can actually turn this into a run. I am going to go gung-ho for a bunch of elites here, though. Because that's more fun. It's quite likely I end up using the explosive potion in this combat. Just because two of them buffed on the first turn, so... Yeah, Caltrops plus a bunch of defense isn't the most viable thing, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't want to take a bunch of damage here. Cool. Lace Sweep. Yeah. It's an incredibly powerful singular defensive card right there. Take a Relic. We get Ornamental Fan. Every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Go for the draw here. Nice. Come on, get me the card. I know you want to get me. It's exactly on the bottom of the deck there. But that's lethal. Another backstab. Huge pickups. I'll even take a ritual dagger in this deck. Oh, I don't care. Pepsi bottle. Coca-Cola glass. Not going to use the Ritual Dagger here. I'm holding out hope for the possibility of using it for the kill. We don't have much damage left in deck, so I'd be surprised if we did get to use that Ritual Dagger for the kill. 
Depends what I draw alongside. Hang on. Yeah, we're still short. How attached am I to upgrading the Ritual Dagger here? I think Ritual Dagger Lake has quickly become the scaling damage I think this deck desperately needs. No, I can't take that much damage. Pre-upgraded Predator is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Hello, Book of Stabbing. Take one damage, but... Oh, we got Predator at the very least. That's a good pickup. I really want to go for the Quick Slash because it has the extra damage this turn. Yeah. Leg sweep, leg sweep, leg sweep! As I've said before, Chemical X is just a win right now. It sweeps on the bottom of the deck, but do I even use it this turn? Probably. Okay. So I'll be resting in the next position. Oh my god, really? Alright. Oh no, we still kill. Right, three attacks and then we don't even take any damage here. Happy Flower. Every three turns, gain an energy as well as the Emerald Key, as well as a bunch of stuff I'm not going to take there. We rest here for a bunch of HP as well as a card selection that we don't take. Gotta remember, no AoE in this entire deck. Okay, so 22... 22, 20... Okay, so what is the least number of hits that I have to commit to the, uh, the backline of Slaver here in order to kill it, right? Knowing that I'm using the 15 for the kill. So assume that 15 is already taken away from them. So they are on 34. So how do I meet 34? I can do that with a Predator Strike Backstab. And that is... 37. Yeah, that's, that's the best combination of this that I can get. It only wastes 3 damage, which is frankly remarkable. Should have used that backstab, though. <laughs> ah. I need that PK upgraded as well, by the way. Just as soon as possible. Really? Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Quite good, but not perfect draw. All bad. So I only need to have five energy left over when I play that. Got him. Whew. PK does need to be upgraded. It doesn't exhaust and will cost one less every single time. We keep getting really awful draws after we play PK. I'm really sad about it. Okay. Gambling chip at the start of each combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many. If Tactician's in our opening hand here, we discard it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I, I want some extra energy in this deck. Do I open the chest? I have an elite later on is the problem. So if this is a pain or a regret, we'll be really sad about it. Oh, Memorial negate the next two curses you obtain. We did pick up a pain there, by the way. Uh, tiny chests upon pickup gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. I think we'll take the sapphire key. I think it's too late to take the tiny chest there. Uh, obtain the special relic, definitely. Three extra strength on the first turn is really good when you are running this kind of a deck. Upgrade the PK. Okay. We did get a curse out of that, but we also got the Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. Oh, Memori negates the curse, though, thankfully. Uh, 
Can I need more defense on turn one? I will keep the backstabs though. Ah! Defense, defense, defense. Weaken, defense, defense. I drew one defend, two defends. Two defends in seven, 12 cards. The bottom 12 cards have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's awful. So I'm very much hoping for... I'm not killing here because I'm very much hoping to draw the other card for the kill. Nope, never mind. Not going to take that damage though. Blue Candle. Unplayable Curse cards can have you played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it, as well as uh, definitely Terror here. Thousand cards comes pre-upgraded, but we don't play enough cards to capitalize on it. And Terror is definitely something we need in the stack. Hey, look, we get rid of that skill there. Nice. So play this four times, and that is almost lethal. Hang on. Here we go. Give myself some extra card draw this turn. Play the pain immediately, and then Ritual Dagger. Great kill. Awesome! Through that relatively painlessly. Another Caltrop? Yep. And we'll rest here. Picking up another leg sweep. Providing some defense for the deck that kind of needs it. More than happy to get the Ritual Dagger out of the deck as quickly as possible here. Phantasmal Killer and PK are both going to be stolen out of our deck really soon. Seriously, if we had a, like one Chemical X, this entire deck would be so much better. Chemical X is a shop relic. One second while I just play out a bunch of stuff here. Chemical X is a shop relic that says whenever you play an X cost card, its effects are increased by two. It's very important for me to work off all of the artifacts on this enemy so that I can hit them with the neutralize. Sorry, the neutralize, the both the neutralize and the terror, especially. Unfortunately, this turn it has to be leg sweep, leg sweep, terror. As much as I want to be doing damage this turn, that's the only responsible way to deal with that. That's a that's a very loud plane. Really wish that weren't uh, flying during my episode. Now, nah, dare it. Honestly, they don't even consult me when they decide to fly these planes. Just a little bit of heads up would have been nice, just saying. Worst case scenario, I can reach for lethal here. Worst case scenario, I would have used the double fire potion or a strike and a fire potion, but if I don't need to use them, don't need to use them. Dex potion as well as... The problem with bullet time here is because we have x cost cards in the deck, specifically skill and doppelganger, bullet time is less effective. Like, if those were just high cost cards, it would be amazing, but x cost cards still just take the rest of your energy. They aren't affected by bullet time. 
We do have two copies of Leg Sweep. One copy of Predator. Still don't think we take bullet time though. I think we skip those actually. Mm. Hovering Kite? No. We definitely want extra energy, so it is one of these. If we take the Philo Stone, we're basically conceding against the heart right now. Uh, I think we could take the Busted Crown. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. We kind of already have functional decks, so I don't think we need to have that. Yeah, we have a couple more upgrades we need to do in this deck, so I'll take the path that has only one elite, but a couple of upgrades. Great. Huge setup. Come on, Ritual Dagger. I'm going to try and just set up for a Ritual Dagger. Still in the deck. There we go. No problem. Oh, a pre-upgraded Terra. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we'll drop a Fire Potion for a Power Potion because Power Potions can be absurdly good. Not gonna say, not gonna say, uh, not gonna say absurdly powerful because that would be obvious. Okay. Unfortunately, both of them put burns in our deck and discard pile. Obviously, that's not great for us, but eh, what are you going to do? So we can kill that backliner with a fire potion now and probably will. Hopefully the rare relic we get from this is extremely worth it because right now I'm feeling not great about the choices I've made. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. That's going to be interesting. We exhaust two cards on the first turn. We'll take an acrobatics. I actually feel like we're lacking in draw right now. Oh, look, another leg sweep. Oh, look, a dagger spray. Cool. I don't know. Not bad pickups there. Gotta remember, if it kills an enemy, permanently increase this card's damage by one. That does not count unless I kill actually the final target here, because otherwise I'm not killing an enemy. It just comes back to life. Great pick up there. Is it possible? God, I got really close. Ha! So I did get the kill, just not with the ritual dagger. It's fine. Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Well laid plans is obviously a great take here. Uh, we'll also take Twisted Funnel. At the start of each combat, apply four poison to all enemies. Uh, it's just whether or not I take the Unceasing Top. Unceasing Top ends as soon as I draw my Tactician. Obviously, it ends as soon as I draw my Pain, but I'm probably just going to remove the Pain right now. Yeah, I don't think it's good for us. How many status effects do we have in this deck? One, two, three, four, five... Okay, so sadistic nature is not worth it for us. I'm going to take that speed potion because now if I get an artifact potion, I am well set for the boss fight easily. Oh, 
love when backstab gives backstab. Just a damn good time. So this is a deck that's really, really strong, but gosh, it runs out of power really quickly. So again, gonna have heart troubles with a deck like this. Shiv is interesting just in the fact that it generates a bunch of free cards for us. I say free. They're not free. I want to play as many cards as I can before I start attacking here with these, specifically. Just because the enemy has slow, it receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn whenever you play a card. Uh, but I also have a conflicting interest in that I want to play my exhaust cards first so I can draw more cards. Draw, quote unquote draw. Uh, generate more cards so I have more options. That's still a hell of a lot of damage for a turn one right there on the giant head. It was a great comment made by Emma Smith that uh, if you have the preserved insect, the giant head should just be called the head. Entirely agreed. Co-signed. Finisher is obviously a really good card here. I'll keep it. I'll keep Quick Slash. I have a bunch of extra energy this turn, so it's entirely possible that we get to use Finisher. The problem is, yeah, with skill, we're never really going to use Finisher at the very end of a turn. Or at least not commonly. So I'm going to try and find a way where I get to kill with the Ritual Dagger here. 21 by 8. 168. It's exactly lethal. Obviously, I don't want that. So now, 20. No, defend, defend. Hey, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Set up with the Ritual Dagger back atop the deck so we can kill with it. Prayer Wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Yeah, okay, quite good. Yeah, see? Quite good, see? Uh, like, our only saving grace against the final... Final boss, that is. is that we can have... Ooh, Molten Egg. Whenever you get an attack card to your deck, upgraded as well as Lantern. Start each combat with additional energy. All of those are really, really powerful things. Skip this. Uh, but our only saving grace is having those two Caltrop. Lose the strike happily. Happily. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Obviously go for the Rare Relic here. We fight the Hexagos. Yeah, okay. Whoa, okay. Caltrop's on turn one. Really good for us. Get the other one. Damn. Generate another one? Oh, wild. Storm of Steel gives me a bunch of shivs. Those shivs give me more cards. Ah, oh, that eviscerate's unplayable right now because I haven't discarded any cards yet this turn. Damn. <laughs> I'd love to use Phantasmal Killer, but I have to go with... Oh, ho, ho. Have to go with all the extra draw here. Okay. So 15 by 9. So that's 90 plus. Uh, what? Damn it. 
4 by 5 20? 130? Still short on lethal with that. Oh no, but the enemy dies the first time they hit me. So this actually saves me a bunch of HP. I'd have loved to kill with the ritual dagger, but eh, they die. Cool. Ginger, you can only become weakened. Very, very good for us. It's not going to be relevant in this fight, though. I'm a predator here. Sorry, bullet time. Bullet time and nightmare, nightmare, a predator. And then we get a bunch of high cost predators in our hand. Unfortunately, the enemy is attacking this turn. So on this turn, they have the ability to either attack or to not to do that. I'm going to play the wraith form, actually. And retain two predators. I'm just going to go hyper aggressive. Lot of damage there. That's okay though. Leg sweep him. Leg sweep him. Go. Defend doppelganger. I'll hold on to ritual dagger and I think reflex actually. It's an obvious card to discard. Oh, now I have the other card that I need to. Never mind. Got two discards. Alright, and now we're lined up for the Ritual Dagger for the kill here. Goodbye more, hello less. I uh, did that before, haven't I? Another cow drop. Wow. Okay. And again. And again. Keeping the enemy lays for, like, forever. It's really good. Keep it. It's just to keep the enemy weakened. Okay. Ritual Dagger is definitely not getting a kill here, so... Got to immediately stop even thinking about that. Ooh, nice pickup of the Adrenaline. Great card to get. Okay. Did draw the tactician, so keeping the survival was a good pickup. Ooh, concentrate. That would actually be really, really powerful in this deck right now. Sure, I'll keep it. If I can exhaust enough cards, then... It's just a bunch of extra... Uh, it's just a bunch of extra energy for us. Right, because we get a bunch of cards that we can use to exhaust with the Dead Branch, so we're not super low on card value. Now, this is why I've been keeping the Ritual Dagger the entire time, because we're going to need a hit for turns like this. Great. Two great keeps right there. All right, let's get some shivs in. Obviously don't want PK. Yikes. Without PK, we would have taken a lot of damage that turn. On the fire potion. Nothing I really want. Alright, do I rest or upgrade? Or re I have to recall. Fine, we'll do it. Ooh, 
double Caltrop first hand. Hell yes. I want to set up my defenses and stuff here, so. Poison Sucker is a hell, a hell a good thing here. Do I use the Dex Potion? If I use the Dex Potion, what am I saying? I'm saying I lose against the heart. That's what I'm saying, effectively. Uh, I'm gonna try and get away without using the Dex Potion, but if I end up losing this fight because I'm trying to gear up for the heart fight, I'm gonna be real mad about it. Just really hoping for another status effect there. So that I could have afforded to play Terra. Okay. 32 damage on the back line right there. <clears throat> Yikes. Definitely got to keep the Ritual Dagger. So our best kill for that back line. <clears throat> I love that we've just generated a bunch of bashes so far. Extremely important, extremely powerful. That's another dash right there. Thank you, Dead Branch. I don't think it's over-exaggeration uh, over to say that I'm pretty sure we could have lost this fight if we didn't get all of those dashes there. Obviously should have kept the, the survivor there, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, because this is definitely just a blow him up turn. That's PK for you. 1050. It's okay, score. I've had a better one. I've had many better ones, in fact. Smith. I'm a Smith's a tactician. Getting that extra energy can lead to some really powerful turns. That's not going to matter at all in the final fight. After Image is interesting, it just completely negates the effect of the the Beat of Death. So I think it is worth just for that. Then Endless Agony is two free cards. Now it's just like, do I want the Strength Potion or the Ghost in a Jar? I think the Strength Potion is actually really, really important for us. The power potion can be insane. If we could keep the speed potion, I, th I think we would use it, but we can't. So I'm going to take the ghost ninja. Oh. I'd love to take that strength potion, but I think I'm better served by keeping the power potion here. Just take a dagger spray as well. I guess break primarily for this fight. Okay. One target down.
This is just so that I have an insane next turn. And we did get skill. Is there any interesting way that I can trigger the ritual dagger here? It's well worth attempting. Although, no. The answer is no. Paper Crane, enemies with 40, enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25% less. That's really powerful. I'm going to want PK before the turns where my enemy isn't attacking, not before the turns where they are. Ah, uh, hang on though. This is usually a really good setup turn, so. Wraith form is really good, but I can't keep it in hand yet. If I'm going to win, Wraith form has to be involved. It's not going to be zero cost, but it has to be involved. There's the well laid plans. I can now hold the Wraith form. really important. I'm going to burst the Phantasmal Killer. Keep myself impeccably defended or impeccably offensive for the next two turns. Uh, the Ginger keeps us very aggressive as well. Masterful stab right there. Literally. Um, we'll retain all three. We're only taking seven damage this turn. Good sign for us. 150. Oh, more than 150 here. Thank you, Caltrop, for turning up. Fifteen by fifteen, so what? Two twenty-five. Yeah, it's a ridiculous amount of damage we just dealt there. Using that malaise isn't actually going to be particularly effective for us. The enemy purges the negative strength that you apply to it, but they also have two artifacts right now. <clears throat> 28 incoming damage. Damn, they're weakened. Like, hella weakened, yo. Yeah, this does it. That Wraith form guarantees it. I mean, like, the enemy is now just dead. I don't even have to play the Wraith form or save a card. Bye, heart. That's exactly what I said. The Caltrops were going to be our only salvation in that fight. If we didn't have Caltrops, we would have been roughly 500 damage behind where we were and that just wasn't going to cut it so that's an important lesson and that's that uh for certain builds it's important to diversify your win conditions so that you can uh, succeed against multiple different obstacles. Uh, in high ascension, oftentimes that means you need something that scales really well in the long against a boss and something that's really, really good up front or defensively good up front against floor fights. Or sometimes it means that you need... Uh, what? A bunch of attacks so that you can get through certain combats that don't allow you to play a bunch of defends, like uh, Gremlin Knob or... 
uh, fights where your enemy scales really, really quickly. So champion, things like that. That'll become much more relevant as we go through the higher ascensions. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slate the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game, past, present, and future, as well as a... No. Just that, right? Uh, but also, if you do like the videos, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and want to see more content like this, you should consider subscribing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.